my name is Gert Lo, uh, and in this uh, short video I just want to give you some of my tips on how you can grow your leg size when you struggle with bad knees. It sounds impossible, but I guarantee you it can be done. You will never have freakish leg size, but you can add very good size by following these basic principles. Note, I am proof of this. My knees are genetically bad. Uh, many in my family had knee replacement surgery and I cannot take much weight before my knees start aching severely. But I've managed to add decent size to my legs and they are not nearly as big as I want them to be, but they are one of my best assets and um, I can train them relatively pain-free. Okay, let's get down to business. How must you train those legs? Number one. You must focus on your calves. You can train them very hard and very intense without any knee related pain. The bigger the calves are, the bigger the legs will look. Be wise. Grow what you can grow. And don't worry, your calves will never look oversized. Calves is a difficult muscle to grow at best. Point number two. When doing any upper leg workout, wrap your problem knee or knees very tightly with an elastic wrap. I find that this allows you to lift safely up to, let's say, about 40% more weights. But I have to unwrap them, unwrap them after each set to allow the blood flow again, otherwise they start aching. And yes, this is a bit tedious, but nothing good comes without effort. Point number three. Your main mass building exercise for the upper legs should be the leg press machine. It places far less strain on the knees and you should be able to press a fair amount of weight when the knees are wrapped tightly. Slow, very controlled movements and place the legs up high and wide. Do not jerk your legs. That is a knee injury territory. I always start my leg session off with this exercise and sometimes even finish it off again with it. Point number four. The normal squat is a killer for knees, but I still do it pain free. First of all, those knees must be wrapped very tightly. Secondly, I go light, very light. I only do about 20 kilogram plates on each side and with the bar uh, it's about 60 kilograms in total. Thirdly, do high reps. I do between 30 to 35 reps per set and I do easily three sets um, during my workouts. Uh, it kills me and I'm, I'm exhausted afterwards uh, but I can feel that my legs had a decent workout. It is going to drain you. I nearly puked the other day. But with that lightweight, your knees can cope. If not, and the knees start aches, then go even lighter and increase the reps even more per set. Again, slow, controlled movements, no jerking. Point number five. A great leg shaper is lunges, especially when you put some weight on your shoulders. But the normal lunge is also a knee killer. Four rules must be followed here to make a lunge pain-free. Number one, wrap those knees tightly. Number two, do not let the lower and upper leg angle be smaller than 90 degrees. It can even be higher than 90 degrees to be on the safe side. This is one of the main reasons why the lunge kills the knees, because that angle is less than 90 degrees. Point number three, do not step out straight to the front, but step out at a 45 degree angle with each lunge. This will put less strain on your knees. F point number four. Do not step out and back again at the same spot, but step forward continuously. Staying in the same stationary position for lunges is not knee friendly. This is my bit to help those with bad knees adding some size. It can be done. Be wise, do controlled and slow movements, and make sure your technique is perfect. Point number six. You can do leg extensions, but be very, very careful. Leg extensions is, I would put it as the number one knee killer. The way I do leg extensions is uh, I go as light as the machine allows me to. Very, very, very light. 
again, I do very, very high reps. But at the same time, I don't do just the leg extension. I do also a ab workout with that. So each time I bring the legs to the, to the top, I crunch with my upper body. So I get an ab workout and I get a leg workout. And again here, uh, when you bring the leg to the top, do it slowly and contract it when you bring it to the top. And then it won't add much size, but it's going to be a great shape again for the upper legs. And uh, another important factor is don't drop your legs too low. When the angle is too low, you're going to put more strain on the knee. So keep the angle fairly big or large. Here is my latest uh, comparison photo from the day I started with my bodybuilding to my current shape. Uh, it's about nine years, uh, the total time frame. In seven months, I'm going to be 50 and I want to be in the best shape of my life.